Hey guys, Andre here. Uh, so, my last video was like a week ago, yeah, um, because my baby uh, was born uh, like a week ago, uh, and then I got the flu, so um, I didn't have uh, too many time uh, to do nothing at all. In this video, uh, you guys have been asking me uh, to do something like this, uh, it's just a quick overview um, on how I do uh, my presets. Uh, if you want more something more in depth, uh, like any amp or, or any sound, uh, just let me know in the comment section. Uh, in this video, I will show you too what, what is the most important thing uh, to me uh, to get a great, a really great sound. Okay, so um, have fun uh, and let me know what you think. Okay, guys. Um, I just go to the template. I have here a template. Uh, uh, it's really simple. Uh, it just have um, two delays. The 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 ones I use the most uh, is the simple delay in the vintage digital uh, and two reverbs. They are set to default uh, because I never know what I'm gonna do. Uh, and I have the 63, 63 spring and the plate, okay. Uh, and also uh, I have this um, pad already coming to the second uh, line, okay. Okay, so first things first. Uh, first of all, you go, you go to the snapshot one. Uh, so I think, I always think this like um, a real amp or a real situation with the uh, real things, real cabs, real amps. Uh, so I'll start always uh, with the amp, of course, and with the um, cab. So, and we talk, we'll talk uh, more about the cabs. Uh, here I go to my Uh, custom cab uh, so this this IR uh, I made um, with multiple mics uh, actually it was with a ribbon mic uh, from Soundtronics um, I forgot the name now uh, but I think they just have one so um, and a 57 a short 57 uh, and it it's a mix uh, of a v, a slash and v30 and a green back 25 um, and of course they had a great preamp uh, an api um, and uh, eq uh, so it, it's on the right spot for me um, and it's the perfect one for me because it works really really great with uh, pretty much any amp uh, so this is my go go through, uh, uh, and th then I just go to the amp. In this case, will be the placator dirty, and already hearing some buzz here. So let's uh, engage the noise gate. In for now, uh, will be uh, just like this. Uh, so. I think the, the main the main key uh, for me uh, to get a great tone uh, with any amp uh, is the the cab. Um, in the real situation, uh, like in the real with the real cab, or with the IR, or uh, in the digital world, okay. Uh, the main thing it's the the cab. Um, I already recorded uh, pff, so many bands. Um, and I think I just can remember of one band uh, that brought uh, three or four cabs uh, um, because none of the others uh, bought cabs. Uh, everyone uh, brings his own uh, amp, its own guitar, and they know everything about their guitars, uh, all the woods and, and stuff. Um, and the most important thing uh, is the cab no one cares about the cab. Uh, actually, uh, the second video I made uh, in this channel um, was a, a comparison about two cabs and it's the, uh, my video, uh, it's the video with the less views. Uh, so, 
that's what I'm talking. Uh, no one cares about the caps. Um, man, uh, what I have to tell you uh, with my experience, and it's, this is just my opinion, um, if I had to choose, and don't get me wrong, uh, the guitar are important, the, the amp is important, uh, but if I have to choose with, between a great amp, a great guitar or a great cab, I will choose definitely uh, the great cab. Uh, because it makes a huge difference uh, in the sound. Um, and with the amp, we can tweak here and there, uh, and we can get a, a cool sound if you have a, a great cab. Okay, uh, so here is the same thing uh, the trick uh, to the Helix or uh, pretty much other model uh, that, that you can think it's the IR the IR or the stock cap. Um, I used this IR because, as I told you, uh, it, it works really great. So it's sounding like this. So it's sounding good already. I didn't, didn't even touch uh, uh, the settings of the amp. Uh, but let's say we have a cap stock. Uh, and don't get me wrong, the, the, the Helix, uh, you, have, you have to tweak, but uh, you can get a, a pretty cool sound uh, from the stock caps. Uh, so... I much prefer mine. And you can tweak, uh, you can come around through the mics and, and go to the ribbon. Uh, let's go to the 160 because it has more highs. Okay. Okay, let's compare. This, the, the green back, uh, the, the stock cap sounds good, uh, but it has less highs. Uh, so if I didn't have this IR, um, I, I, what I do is always go through the caps uh, and I, I, um, I listen the voice uh, of, the, of the cab. Uh, so let's say I, I, I'll, I'll start from the here, the 412. The, uh, high watt. So I listen, I listen another, uh, and I, I already know how uh, they work with different mics, uh, so I didn't, I don't need to uh, change the mics, but you can go to 57s. Uh, so this one sounds uh, better, uh, and, and choose the one at least this is the way I do. Um, I choose the one uh, that sounds better. Uh, it's really fast. So now I have I'm between the these two. Uh, the twenty five sounds better because this one, I think the mid. I have to take out mids, but sounds great. I probably stay with the high watt yet, but uh, you know what I mean. Uh, 57. My point is, uh, I go through all, all the cabs um, and I choose the one that sounds better, uh, and then uh, I start tweaking. Uh, you have here the I I found the best option is the dual cab, um, and I always choose I, I always choose when I work with dual cabs. I work with the Greenback twenty five and the V thirty, and here uh, we start listening because we are uh, mixing um, a really uh, MIDI. Um, uh, speaker 
uh, with uh, the V30 that has more lows and more highs. <laughs> much highs uh, so let's put here uh, a ribbon mic ribbon mic um, where is the guy okay <laughs> I'll probably need more highs uh, the distance um, uh, if you put more dis more distance, uh, it's more highs. That's what you mean. Uh, let's compare to the IR. Man, the IR is so cool. But as you can see, the uh, this option is, is sounding uh, cool uh, and you can tweak more here uh, with mics and etc and uh, EQs um, and you will have uh, you can have a great sound uh, with this dual cap uh, option okay but we will stick uh, to the with the my IR <laughs> because it sounds uh, cool uh, right away so okay so uh, my next step is okay uh, I, I'm thinking about uh, one amp with four channels uh, channel one clean channel uh, channel two uh, uh, like a low gain rhythm channel uh, snap snapshot free uh, high gain rhythm uh, channel and the, four, the snapshot for uh, the lead channel so uh, let's go to the snapshot 2 for now um, and this will be a more rock and roll sound amp low gain okay so uh, i will disengage the c45 because i like more uh, without uh, the c45 option <laughs> So, uh, it's really trebly. Uh, I can take out treble or I can have more bass and I will have more bass and more mids too. And here, uh, don't be afraid um, uh, like to, to, to get really um, like uh, if you had to, if you need to have the bass like in uh, zero mids on. 10 uh, treble on 0 2 uh, man you just had to sound good okay more dry please uh, let's see the brim, the neck pickup. Yeah, it's sounding cool. And in here is a matter of taste. Uh, for me, it's good. Uh, for you, um, it might be not good. So. Uh, For me, it's really cool. Uh, and here is when I add the reverb. Um, the 63 spring is the one I like the most. But just a bit, man. I, I don't like a lot of um, effects on my rhythm 
channels. So uh, let's uh, let's uh, try the mix at 15%. <laughs> It's cool. Uh, I I don't like this. Is uh, this had too much decay and the mix? And here, uh, when you had the reverb or delays, uh, you'll notice the highs uh, coming up. So I usually cut. For me, it's good. Yeah. Um, I leave the trails on, uh, so if I switch this channel, um, this will continue, and the, and the delays is the same. Uh, and so this is that simple. Um, this is my. Uh, let's change the name really quick. Um, and this will be my low gain channel. Okay. It works well with the um, volume knob of the guitar. So, done. Um, okay, now I, I left the, I always left the, the clean channel uh, to the end uh, because I'm a high gain guy, so, uh, okay. Uh, snapshot 3 is the higher gain amp, so I will come here and I will Instead of head more drive, I will use the um, HB channel. Yeah. So, uh, snapshot option, okay. So, in the snapshot. Uh, three. This will be uh, on the HB channel. Let's save it. So here is turn off uh, in the second channel, the second snapshot, and here will turn on. Okay. I don't think I I need to. Um, uh, tweak the EQ here. Uh, maybe I, I'll put just a bit more gain because it's a high gain channel. Yeah, it's really cool. Um, so, it's that easy, man. Uh, of course, I, I, I do a lot of tweaking uh, when I have, um, uh, when I do uh, this, the patches uh, for sale um, because they have to be perfect. And here we are just um, seeing like an overall uh, uh, view of how I, I do it, okay? Um, but it sounds, it sounds good, man. I'm listening uh, from my monitor speakers and it sounds good. So, when we switch the channel, uh, we, we, we can see the, the amp is exactly the same, so there's not difference. And you have to be careful with this. Uh, especially when if you use uh, more than one amp, uh, is when you change the, the channels, uh, you have to make sure uh, it sounds like the same amp. Uh, uh, 
people have this problem um, mainly in the Mesa Boogies, the Mark series, uh, because they have a lot of options and uh, main complaints uh, guys is uh, like uh, uh, if they ch if they change the from the channel two to the the three uh it looks like it's another amp uh so be careful with that here too uh and so uh the snapshot three will be the high gain channel so now we go to the lead channel um, and here okay here we on we, we want this did I save the yes okay I save it so here we want the HP channel and the same position and here uh, it's exactly the same 7.1 I think actually we'll need more gain here for sure because we all we will want more sustain um, so <laughs> And here, uh, this reverb, uh, the main reverb, uh, will be on, and here will be on the delay too. Uh, so we'll put it in the on eight dot, dot it. Uh, once again, uh, I don't use like a lot of uh, delay. Uh, I want uh, I want to, f to feel it. Uh, I, I know most of uh, people uh, like a lot of delay uh, in this lead channel. Uh, I, I personally don't. Um, I want to feel it, uh, but I, I don't want uh, that you just listen like delay everywhere. So. <laughs> already too much um, and the reverb too uh, but let's uh, just uh, okay uh, the trail on again I think it's like 111% and less feedback yeah so uh, when you finish the note he's, uh, he's there okay uh, so uh, we miss here the reverb and now I will turn off the delay because I just want to hear this reverb uh, the plate okay and once again let's cut the mix it's too much. I love the plate, uh, but it's too much in the decay. It's too much too. Something like that. Uh, and um, when you had the reverb and delays, they have uh, a lot of highs. So let's cut them. It's cool for me. Once again, it's a matter of taste, man. Uh, and the delay, we cannot cut. No, we cannot cut. Let me put the trail on. Trails on. Before I forget. Trails on. Okay. So. So we need more sustain and that's when we had 
the distortion pedal. Uh, the one I prefer, so like the Kinky Boost, is really cool. The Minotaur is my go-to. Uh, I really like the Tima uh, because we have this um, EQs and this uh, type of distor the overdrive or distortion is really cool too. Um, and uh, I think it's Diana Drive, yeah, it's really cool too. Uh, but let's go with this one. Uh, we don't need a lot of gain, uh, neither a lot of tone, because I don't want uh, to change a lot the sound of the amp. Uh, I just want more sustain. <laughs> Less tone, just a bit, because it's, um, it's putting the sound uh, with more high. has a um, lot of gain for my taste now. Okay. thing that I use um, here is always an EQ because I want uh, to boost uh, some frequencies like 1.5 um, kilohertz because uh, I like uh, to have a really fat uh, sound uh, lead sound but I want uh, I want it to cut through the mix so I, I always um, cut some highs and add um, uh, mids and boost here the level 1.5 dB uh, so uh, it, it, it can hear you I can hear it uh, better okay. <laughs> Let's put this just to compare the sound. I will uh, put the level on zero. Let's turn off. So um, it's more fat, right? Because I I'm taking off. Uh, some of the high frequencies and had more of the mid frequencies uh, to cut better uh, for the mix and to sound better too. To me, it's perfect. It's perfect. It's almost perfect. Uh, it need more tweak for sure. Um, so, uh, just need now the um, the channel, the clean channel, right? So let's turn off this thing is okay and let's head here 
uh, the same amp. Why not? So pick it up clean. Let's see how it sounds. It doesn't sound clean. So let's take out drive. More volume. Well, everything sounds cool um, because you have a great cab. Uh, it's like it's like that. Uh, let's head the reverb here. So what, what I usually do now, uh, it's uh, start to head more, uh, let's say, uh, a fuzz, uh, more delays or more reverbs, and assign them to the up buttons of the helix. Uh, so I can uh, switch, turn it on and off, uh, whatever I want. So the main sound uh, is pretty much something like this. So we have the clean channel already. We have the um, low gain channel. Opa. This guy. We have the um, high gain channel. And we have the lead channel. Right? And it's sounding pretty cool for me. Of course, the, this amp, uh, you can do a lot of stuff here. That's it, guys. Uh, uh, so now, you, you, if you want, you had more delays, more reverbs, more whatever you want, and just assign them to the help buttons, uh, and and you're done. Uh, and this is my way um, to do the uh, to do the the presets. Okay, guys.